So here's how you can get a faster internet for free. Now this trick only works for old DSL lines, so it doesn't work for fiber. Okay, first of all I want to explain how the connection starts when you connect your router to the line, because here is where the speed is actually decided. And so I want you to understand how it works, so you understand what we're going to do. So at the start, the router doesn't know anything. It doesn't know even if it's connected to any phone line. So what it does is it sends a message looking for anyone. And this message is received by your phone provider, well, your internet provider, and and then your internet provider will answer that yes, it has heard the message and it presents to your router all the different standards that it supports. Now, this first communication is using a very simple standard and it's very slow and it's only meant to start the connection. And so these other standards are the st actual internet standards like DSL, DSL2 and DSL2+. So then your router answers back with what standard it wants to use and also how clear it's hearing the signal from your phone provider. Okay? And so then your phone provider will answer back with a confirmation of the standard and also will tell the router the speed that the connection will go at. Now, so here it's very important to understand that the, the standard that you're using and the speed that you're getting, it's actually based on what your router has answered in, in this conversation. And so here what we can do is change the answer of your router. So what we want to do is if your router is actually hearing a 5 out of 10 of signal quality, you want your router to say that it's actually hearing an 8 out of 10. And of course, because your internet provider doesn't know anything, it has to believe you, and so it will give you a faster speed. This can actually increase a lot, your speed, because it's not just that you are lying and saying that you are receiving the signal better, so it gives you a faster internet, but what happens is that routers, by default, usually say that they hear it worse than in reality. And they do this to, to ensure that the connection will never be lost. But of course, what we want is a faster speed, not a more reliable internet. And, and so what you'll need is a router that allows you to change your SNR shift. And SNR is signal to noise ratio. Okay, and so it's actually it's actually how it's telling your internet provider how well it's hearing it. And you also will need well and probably you will need a router of your own, and so you will need the username and password for connecting to your internet provider. So to get that you basically need to to call to your internet provider and they will give it to you. Now now I'm going to show you an example of how to do this in an ASUS router. I have the DSL-N12E C1 and so I'll show you how to do it. Well, first of all, you'll want to connect to it and what you actually have to do is type in your browser the IP of your router and the IP is usually always this one 192.168.1.1 so you type that in and it will bring it bring you to your router okay so what you want to do with an Asus router is go to administration and DSL settings first of all you will want to make sure that you're using DSL2 
plus and also you will want to disable these two well, settings what this to do is if there's some noise in your line they lower your speed so the connection remains stable and you never and your connection is never interrupted but usually the connection is re reliable enough so you disable this so your speed is doesn't get lowered and the most important value is this one stability adjustment which is the shift of the SNR so you can make your router lie about how well it can hear your signal and so by default it was set to minus 5 so it was saying it was hearing 5 decibels worse than what it was actually hearing and as you can see you can set it to 1 which would be the truth more or less and you I can get away with 5 now here you will want to play with these numbers and adjust them until you get the maximum speed that you can if you get up by 1 and your speed starts to go down and and things have trouble loading then that means you have it too high now another way to make sure that you don't when you didn't go too high or you're too low is in system lock you can go to DSL lock and this last value is how many packets it has lost and so if you set a number and you see this always at zero you can probably increase it but if you see that this number is starting to rise well faster than this <laughs> then you should lower it because your connection is not stable and so what you want to do is while you're doing this test is having a video playing from YouTube so you create traffic and so there are more packets that can be lost and so if you don't lose too many packets then you you get you settle with that speed and with that SNR shift and that's it so basically what you need to do is to have a router that allows you to do this and as you can see the ASUS routers do and then you also need well basically nothing else you just need these two things and that's it so I hope you found this useful and have a nice day